All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Octopath Traveler. And uh, we found a new way of kind of farming experience in the game uh, with this update. I want to go over that with you guys. But I also want to kind of ask you guys a question in general. Um, you know, please, in the comment section, let me know, have you been running around farming uh, Kates anyway with your team? Uh, I, I know I haven't spent a whole lot of time, maybe like probably less than two hours uh, in the game actually running around trying to farm Kates uh, for XP. I've just been kind of doing it naturally and, and you know, and making sure I'm making good use of my hunts. So uh, I, I'm kind of curious out there uh, who's actually doing that. But what I like about this new strategy is I think it might work well for single units. So let's, let's get into that and look at it. Uh, but then also, uh, you'll be seeing some footage in the background of me doing the expert Kate hunt that also came out in today's update. Uh, so you'll be able to kind of see from that and we'll maybe talk about it a little bit at the end of whether or not it's worth doing. All right, let's get into it. All right, so since the game first came out, our kind of main ways of farming XP was doing our ad Kates for the day. And, you know, some people were resetting those, but we ran into a lot of issues with there just not being enough ads out there. So that didn't work out too well. Uh, and so then we were kind of limited to just hunts and our kind of nut farm of getting, you know, our kind of XP that way. And so if you wanted to level up your team quicker than that, you had to go run around in the highest level area that you could get to. Uh, and you would be able to, uh, proc these Kates out in the wild. Uh, the only problem with that is that they have the ability to run away if you can't keep them locked down or kill them quick enough, which if you guys look around, there are some guides out there of how to min and max the, the, uh, the ability of uh, killing those uh, Kates, uh, which gives them the least amount of run time available. Uh, so there, there are those things as uh, kind of options out there, but uh, it was somewhat of the how do how do you run into these kates besides just pure luck you could be out there for 20 minutes or two hours working on finding some of them so what we found today in this update is if you look over in your memoirs we can rematch our uh, master of wealth uh, master of power all of those different uh, ones from the early game bosses and we could do that before with the beginner version. Now we have this intermediate version. And if you look here, uh, the first uh, kills on all of them are like five rubies. So the first times you defeat them, you get five rubies, which is fine, great. That's a little extra rubies there. But if you look there, it says the second time. And uh, it seems to be every time after that, you're able to get one of these supreme uh, small uh, nuts from them. And so then you can kind of maybe focus fire units so each of those uh you know supreme uh small nuts there is about two hundred fifty thousand experience and yes it's only onto one unit but i have to you know kind of give some sort of credence to people talking about this as being a viable method uh really kind of depending on how quickly you can go ahead and defeat these bosses because it is guaranteed so uh you know if you have a decent team or you build your team and change your team up uh around each of these fights to try and get in there and clear quick then you have the potential of doing you know at least three to five minute clears of these bosses uh which you know you may not even run into uh, a kate out in the wild within five minutes of running around Granted, when you do and you're successful in defeating them, it gives XP to all eight of your units, which is great uh, as long as all eight of your units are the ones that need the XP, because if you're running certain groups just with the idea of making sure that you can bring the Kates down without them running away, then sometimes you might be bringing in units that are already kind of max. You might have a hard time switching around enough and keeping that kind of ability of, of breaking and, and dealing the damage that you need to do. So I do like this method as a more consistent way of being able to bring these uh, uh, units up. And in my case, since I kind of use the same team for a long time and just pulled barely kind of slowly, you know, every now and then I get a five star and it hasn't been super often except in the collab. It was like, you know, one or two every week. Uh, but now I'm going to be very really kind of slow burning and, uh, up until the next time. And so what this kind of method might allow me to do is if there's a particular unit that I end up pulling as an off banner or something like that, I'm not running around trying to figure out how to get Kate to basically this, you know, one unit or something like that. I can go in and just kind of farm up uh, a decent amount of these um, 
supreme nuts and just kind of focus fire on that particular unit. And so I, I do think this will be kind of a nice little alternative. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think about this one in particular. Uh, just kind of leave your thoughts down below of, have you tried this out? How, how well does your team clear? How quickly um, uh, does it clear? If you do your, you know, farming out in the wild for Kate's, uh, what does this compare to time-wise in your opinion of, of gathering uh, XP from there versus this? So this is probably going to be something that I'm going to be at least utilizing to bring everybody up to about the same level. Uh, so a lot of my Bravely de uh, default units are uh, still under level 90 and I've been kind of really focusing on them. Uh, but there's only so much focusing you can do um, with your kind of nut farms that you that you get during the day or you know the nuts that you get from uh, your hunts so um, this will really help me bring everybody up to about the same level uh, that way as people are getting the xp uh, it's getting kind of distributed evenly there i, I kind of like that in a way and you can kind of see from the background some of my units are uh, already saying that they're at maxed what it is is XP once you hit max actually carries over up until the end of the next level and so I try to never let my units get past that point so I'm not kind of like wasting the experience uh, so um, that that's really the, the goal and the idea of bringing everybody from the, the from you know the lower levels up and kind of putting everybody in an even playing field rather than like focus targeting one person to, uh, to 100 uh, I don't have the um, the kind of guide stones to be able to do that anyway. So if you guys are out there doing that, what I kind of suggest is uh, definitely kind of pick your units that you're wanting to level up uh, and obviously make sure that they have enough guide stones for themselves, that they have some cushion for those levels, and then uh, focus those units up until their kind of influence breakpoints, which is, you know, just the way I do it. So, you know, level 84, level 92, uh, things like that and so I'll, I'll focus all of the units that I want to rise up and then uh, just feed the nuts into them until they're 84 then once everybody's 84 then to start to bring everybody up to 92 so I don't know you guys can kind of take that as it will I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that this was a strategy out there I've seen some people talking about it and kind of looking into it myself it seems like it's uh wouldn't be too bad uh, now as far as these Kate hunts here you can see I've had a running total up at the top there 563,000 XP for the group uh, certainly not bad uh, I would say at least do this expert hunt once what is nice is it seems that you can still get the seals from this and you're still gonna get the bonus uh, of your guide stones should you have Lionel or something like that that you're working on this week uh, anyway that's been my two cents